guys, so I'm here for what I hope to be quite a snappy video in which I share with you some of my favourite booktubers. I've done numerous videos like this in the past but there always seems to be more booktubers who I haven't yet mentioned or in fact have joined the community since then that I'm watching and really enjoying. I don't necessarily pick these people for these videos based on subscriber numbers, I just want to take the opportunity to tell you about booktubers I love to watch. So that is what this video is, these are a selection of booktubers I haven't mentioned in booktuber shoutouts before, although may have mentioned in other videos, so I hope you find somebody new to grab your interest from this video and do leave below any recommendations for other channels in the comments once you've seen who I mentioned in this one. First up is Sophie Carlon. There's a few people on this list that I'm so surprised I haven't mentioned yet but I guess that's just the nature of how many people I'm subscribed to. Um, but Sophie is an Australian booktuber and she is just so personable on camera. She's just so relaxed and chatty and um, just a natural on camera. She's so good on camera and I really like listening to her just chat away about books. She reads a variety of stuff but she certainly likes the surreal and the strange and the dark, magical realism I guess. And not only that but she also talks about stationery in her videos, she writes her own stuff. Um, so there's a lot going on in her channel and she's a real pleasure to watch so I'd highly recommend checking her out. Next up is Drinking By My Shelf. Now I wasn't subscribed to her channel until Monica from She Might Be Monica told me about it and I'm so glad that I am because her videos are just fantastic. Um, they're so clever, they're so well edited, they're so well thought through. She does this thing where she does 60 second reviews where she manages to do an incredibly well thought through book review of a book in 60 seconds. Um, she also just does other really creative stuff, she also shares with you cocktail recipes um, that she drinks while she talks about books and yeah, really really creative stuff on her channel and I would highly recommend checking out, she always gives me a giggle as well so what more could you want? Next up is Leanne from Literary Diversions. Leanne is a fellow Scot and I know how you all love a Scottish accent from the comments. So Leanne is definitely worth checking out, not just because of that, also because she uh, is a fantastic booktuber and I really like the way she talks about books. She, even books she's just hauling and hasn't read yet, she's obviously done her research and she just does a really good job of summarising plots and uh, talking through the themes of books. She reads a lot of crime if that's your kind of thing, um, but she does read a variety of stuff as well, so worth checking out. Whilst we're on the topic of Scottish booktubers then, I guess I should mention my friend. <laughs> <laughs> so my friend Jill started a booktube channel not that long ago and I, she's one of my favourite booktubers, like genuinely. Uh, she was one of my favourite booktubers before she started booktubing. Jill is somebody I always get tons of amazing book recommendations from in person and she'd been in a few of my videos and been considering starting her own channel and quite a few of you had said that you would like to watch her. So she has started her own channel, I know some of you have gone and checked it out and I am so, like I feel like a proud mother, I'm so proud of her. Jill reads a wide variety of stuff, a lot of stuff really similar to me in terms of she loves ancient literature, she loves retellings of Greek myths, she loves fantasy, uh, but she also reads a lot more sort of historical fiction around the time of like Henry VIII and things like Philippa Gregory, which I don't read as much of, so um, it's quite, I quite like hearing about stuff that she's reading because she'll be reading slightly different stuff, but we'll also read very similar stuff as well. Um, and I always know I can trust her recommendations. She's also a hardcore Lord of the Rings fan, so if any of you are into that kind of thing, I'm sure she's going to be talking more about them on her channel. And yeah, her channel is The Book Nook, so that will be linked down below. We then have Angelica, who is... I mean, all of these... I feel really silly saying this, but they're all fabulous, fabulous booktubers. That's why I'm mentioning them. Angelica reads a lot of poetry, actually, in comparison to uh, lots of people on booktube where poetry isn't talked about as much, so if you're into poetry, definitely check her out, but she does read other things. She reads fiction and graphic novels and all of the good stuff, um, but I definitely think that's worth mentioning that she does poetry. And I only got to meet her a couple of times while she was living in the UK, but I'm so glad I did because she's just 
such a nice endearing person so I would definitely check out her videos if I was you. Then there is Rachel who I again really surprised I haven't mentioned. <laughs> Rachel reads a lot of short story collections and plays. Now I don't see people talk about plays as much on booktube so I think that's really um, something that stands out on her channel but other than that again she does read a variety of stuff and it's all very interesting and I always know I'm guaranteed to find something I haven't heard about somewhere else when I'm watching one of Rachel's videos so that is always a bonus and of course she is just a joy to watch. And lastly for this video, but certainly not last, is Simon from Savage Reads. I know, you're shocked I haven't mentioned him in a booktube or shout out yet, because I've mentioned him in quite a few videos. Ever since Simon has started booktube, I have been enamoured with his channel and him as well, and I'm so glad that I've gotten to get to know him over the past few months. He's just a really fabulous person, and he reads like nobody else. He reads so many books and so many different books and it's hard not to find his passion and love for literature infectious. That's the best way I can put it. He just gets me really excited for books. Books I wouldn't necessarily be that excited for otherwise and his videos are often quite long but that's a good thing because it's a real pleasure to listen to Simon chat so the longer the better. I really enjoy listening to him chat, chat away and He's just such a pleasant person to watch and a pleasant person to talk to. So if you haven't checked out Simon yet, I don't know what you're doing. Links down below. But those are all the people I wanted to mention in this video. Just eight for now. If you are looking for more booktuber recommendations, though, I will link a playlist of all the other videos I have done like this in the past. I believe there's about five now. So quite a few booktubers for you to go through if you haven't checked them out yet. But until next time, guys, happy reading, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.